Hi class, let's talk about negative feedback. It sounds kind of negative, but actually it's a very、um, useful、um, way to make sure you keep everything in balance and maintaining homeostasis. So remember, in pathways there is stimulatory, so you have to have some way to also turn it off so that you can have homeostasis. So let's take example of the body temperature here. So in the body temperature, this is 98.6. So if the body temperature is too hot outside, like for example, right now at 117 this summer, it's too hot. So the body has to find a way to cool down. So the sweating, the sweat, causes evaporative cooling, keeping the body temperature at 98.6. Even though you feel that you're really hot, you're actually keeping your body temperature back to 98.6. So that's an important part of homeostasis. Negative feedback is gonna use that、uh, be used a lot in the endocrine system to make sure that you keep a homeostasis. So here I illustrate example with the thyroid hormone pathway, and you can follow each step on how this works. And I also said to practice.、Um, but for me, for explaining in this video, I'll create a new one, and you can follow along as I explain negative feedback. So what you want to do when you look at any pathway is, if you're confused about a question or you're looking at a pathway, the first thing to do is to draw out the normal pathway. So we have the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus, the pituitary. And then the thyroid. So, and we we're gonna use this align all sorts of pathways. So it's good to really understand it and draw it out. So what we're gonna do is draw out the normal pathway without without、um, looking at your paper. See if you can draw out the pathway. I'm gonna pause the video、uh, recording and resume after I finish drawing. So why don't you guys draw and. Follow along when you're done. Okay, so I have the normal pathway drawn. So I usually will give you a scenario. So for example, in this scenario, I said that if the TH is enough, which which means you have reached the right amount for homeostasis, for the homeostasis on metabolism, or if it's too high, what will happen? Okay, so you want to start all where it originally starts. Where the first thing that happens, so we're gonna number that problem. We're gonna start right here. Normally, homeostasis is circular; it feeds back on itself, so it keeps on going in circle and in circle. You really don't have a starting point or ending point. But if there's a change, you gotta start where the change happened. In this case here, so one, we're gonna say that the TH is too high. So it's not in homeostasis; it's too much. Your body says it's too much, so that's step one. The high amount of thyroid hormone is in the blood, so it's going to feed back in the blood back to the original starting gland. That's step two to the hypothalamus. Negative feedback. So the high amount, so your body is going to have to correct this. So that's going to come to step three. So your the CEO is going to say there is way too much product. What should I do? Well, I better tell production to slow down. So it's going to go down, down, decrease. So negative feedback you want to think of as a, it's doing the thing to correct what's down here. So if it's too high, this is too low. If it's too high, this is going to go low. Okay. If it's too low, it's going to go high. So it's always the opposite. So then step four. So here you want to look at what's happening, right? If the CEO says. Telling the manager to slow down, then the TSH will decrease as well. Okay, and at step five, if TSH is lower, it's going to turn off the thyroid. So thyroid here is going to decrease TH to homeostasis. Okay, so you go back to normal. So that's the steps at which you're going to talk about how to do this. This is very important that you do draw it all and even write it all, like I have here in your journal, on what happens. So practice 
What happens when the TH is too low? How do you return to homeostasis? And then I also illustrate examples where the problem, what if it started at the um, pituitary gland? What then will happen, okay? Um, so those are really uh, important ideas to draw all and to figure out. And here is another example of um, looking at where the problem is, okay? So you wanna really think about what's going on. And I'll draw those out as well to explain that. Okay, so we already did this one. Okay, so it's the, pro this, the issue started here. So this one, I think you should be able to follow uh, how this will happen. Okay, so here we're talking about if the problem is at the pituitary going, you're gonna start at step one here. Okay, so we already said that the pituitary grant is underproducing. So one, there's no pituitary grant, problem starts here. Then two, the TSH will go down. In this case, you just want to follow the circle along and figure out what happens to the hormone level. And I want you to try a problem here as well. Okay? If you have any questions, we can draw those out as well at office hour or a discussion session. Let's look at this kind of problem. So here you're giving a blood test, okay? So the blood test here showing down. I'm gonna draw a new screen and then I'll work through it with you step by step. So again, the problem is over here and we're gonna draw it out. I'm gonna pause the video and write some of this basic information down and draw the basic pathway, the normal pathway. So you should do the same thing and then we'll meet up again. Okay, I have transcribed this problem to a new blank sheet. So you should do the same thing when you practice your lecture notes. Make sure you start writing, drawing, and putting in new sheets and see how that works. So here's the problem. The problem shows us that we have low TRH, high TSH, and TH. So let's just look at this patient, right? This patient was normal, feeling fine, homeostasis before this happened and then they started feeling auto homeostasis okay they have high th high metabolism so they come into your clinic and the first thing you do is you do a blood draw and the blood draw reveals this if the blood draw reveals this um what does it mean okay so next thing you want to do is you draw this pathway out but this was what's normal but not in, in homeostasis we don't put up or down arrow because these are all in balance but now it's not. So if it's not, you want to make sure you want to draw that out. So you want to write it down. This is low. This is high. And this is high. So the next thing you're going to do is diagnose the problem. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to number where the problem started. You got to figure out where the problem started. So the first, the, the way to do this is you look at boss, manager, worker. If the boss, sending out a message telling everything to slow down everything needs to slow down okay they follow directions so if trh is low and is telling the managers they slow your production down but the manager is actually screaming more production there's something wrong with that it's not listening so this is where the problem started this is inconsistent. So that's step one. Okay, so if that's step one, then there's something wrong here. Okay, if there's something wrong with the pituitary that's overproducing TSH. So when it's overproducing TSH, they are telling the downstream workers, make more, make more, make more. So it's gonna make more. Sorry, the pen sometimes have a leg, so you have to excuse. When I'm making a video, it slows down my computer and it's very frustrating, but we can follow along. So two, it's going to make more, make more. So the worker getting that message is going to make more. So TH increases. This is not, even though this is not the correct amount, the thyroid, there's nothing wrong with it because it's listening to the command correctly. High TSH, thyroid says, okay, I'll make more. It makes more. Okay, and then that's gonna do the negative feedback. 
because that's too way too much thyroid hormone, way too much metabolism coming out of here for the body to be in homeostasis, then the CEO sees that is too much high. So negative feedback should try to bring that command back down. So the TRH will decrease in an effort to slow everything down. But because there's a problem here, we don't know what yet, there's a problem, then it's not going to listen to the command. It just makes TSH on its own. So now we are diagnosed that the problem is indeed in the anterior pituitary. So that's how you diagnose a problem. You look for inconsistency in listening to command. So I want you to practice a few more. I'm thinking I gave you a few more here to practice so you can diagnose the problem. Once you know how to do it, you can, um, it becomes a pattern. So then you really start seeing the diagnostic power of it, okay? So go ahead and answer some questions about the pathway and I'll also illustrate some more examples of negative feedback. So I hope through practice and looking at these various examples, you'll understand how to do these pathways and solve for ne uh, negative feedback and solving for the pathology. Any questions, send it to me.